Okay. You've got a real pro here when it comes to talking about microphones. I have got a shitload of microphones. You see some of my earlier video reviews have uh, got uh, 44 microphones. I think it's 45 now. I've used everything for video and uh, for camera. So if you're looking for a real high quality, because it's so easy to piss away money on microphones and good recommendations out there are basically non-existent. If you want the best microphone for your digital camera, you obviously need a good external mic. Because we all know that the microphones, the stereo mics on any DSLR, are shit. Doesn't matter how expensive the camera is, you gotta get a good microphone. Um, two recommendations only. I've got tons and tons of shotgun mics. I've, I've used them all. I mean, I've got the best. I've got the MKH 416, um, Neumann's, uh, Sennheiser's, Rode. Uh, basically, there's only two recommendations. You can spend a fortune. You definitely don't need a $1,000 MKH 416. Um, I've got one of those. It's obviously too long to mount on your camera. But here we have two recommendations, uh, basically separated by class and quality. The typical one that a lot of people buy is the Rode. The Rode VideoMic Pro is shorter than this. Uh, it's actually a shitty, inferior quality. This is the Rode VideoMic. It takes uh, one 9 volt battery. It's uh, perfect for mounting on your DSLR, stereo input uh, mini jack. Uh, perfect for mounting on your uh, DSLR camera. I think new these are like $160. They're okay. $160, they're okay. I said 9 volt battery. Decent, nice little uh, shock mount. Not that great. It, it's really good. It's certainly infinite worlds better than what's on board on your DSLR for when you're shooting videos. But if you want to step it up and add another $100 to it, you can get something so much superior. And I've got several of these. Uh, they, the best one actually is the ME64, but also additionally good is the ME66. It's Sennheiser. Let me take this uh, windshield off of here. Here we have the ME66 and the ME64. Uh, whichever one of these you buy, this is the microphone right here. This is the K6, uh, K6 module, which takes a AA battery. You will need this for either the ME64, which is what this is. This is the ME64 Sennheiser, made in Germany. It takes a one AA battery. This is the module you need. These are the capsules. When you go to buy these microphones, it doesn't come with these capsules. You can't do anything with these capsule heads. You have to either have the K6P or the K6 module. The K6, this is the module that takes one AA battery. The other one is phantom power only. You obviously cannot use that on your camera. Your camera is going to have to have external power. Your camera cannot provide phantom power to power the microphone. So you're going to need this. This is your AA K6 module. This is 150 bucks used all day long. Typically go on eBay, you'll find either ME64 and a K6 or an ME66. Both of these are almost of equal quality. If you're going to get the two, get the shorter. This one, these, I can't, you actually can't see it, but these are incredibly lightweight. I mean, they're just nothing. You just think that they're just cheap, chintzy quality. Like, this feels like nothing. This feels like cheap Chinese stuff. It's just so lightweight and it feels so chintzy. But it's actually superior German quality. But on top of that, the sound quality is just fucking marvelous. I've got sound samples poured through my videos. You'll see the sound samples on the ME64 and the ME66. This is the ME66 right here. This is the ME64. Um, they both have just about equal pickup patterns. Try to get the ME64. Uh, new, I think they're $250. You can find it new, used like new for about $150 to $200, but like I said, you're going to have to have this module, which is $150 on its own, or like two or two and a quarter new. So together, you can actually buy these together. Hopefully, if you can buy them as a package, save yourself money. Get them together off of eBay. They just screw together like this. This is Supreme German Precision Microphone, but the important thing is the sound output. Uh, sound out, sound output. And my god, this, the, the ME66 and the ME64, which is what this is, is just the cat's ass. I mean, it's just the wax crotch of a Swedish supermodel. It's just awesome. There, there's nothing else that competes with this. Pros love it. Where money is no fucking object, you literally want the ME64 or the ME66. This power module works with either one. So, get the, this is the ME66. Obviously, you're better off with a shorter ME64 because this module is going to have to go on the end of the ME66 regardless. So, with the ME66 and the power module, it's going to be about yay long. 
So try to get the ME64. By God, you will love it. You'll fall in love with this microphone. You'll have sex with it. It's that good. Check out most of my earlier videos where I give you sound samples on the ME64 Sennheiser. Like I said both of these modules, both of these uh, microphone capsules in the module are made in Germany. Um, they're just incredible. And they're so lightweight because there's nothing worse than having a super expensive, super uh, heavy brass bodied microphone capsule hanging off the top of your DSLR. The other thing you have to buy for it, you're going to need a shock mount, obviously. Now, these are $50 new all day long. Right now I have the uh, the uh, power jack, the power cable attached to this. goes to the back of your microphone. This goes in your DSLR. It's a stereo mini jack. I've got it Velcroed here. What you need is this little jabby right here to mount to the top of your DSLR. There's two rubber shock mounts. This is the Pierce Stone. Uh, actually, this is Audrey. It used to be Pure Stone, and they sold out, or they changed their name. It's called uh, Audrey. Uh, just type in Pure Stone Microphone Shock Mount. You can find these on B&H for $49. This unscrews. Um, it's adjustable here. This mounts in your hot shoe. It's the cold shoe mount, obviously, for your uh, DSLR. Uh, you need a shock mount. So your ME66, your ME64 fits in here in your shock mount. Stick this into your DSLR, stick this uh, XLR connector into the back of your microphone, your Sennheiser, goes in the back of the power module. So you need this, this is an additional 50 bucks. It's extremely lightweight. It's awesome, I've got a couple of these. I use them on the end of a boom pole. So that's what you want for your DSLR. Get one of two choices. There are many choices, but they all pretty much fucking suck. Except for these two. The only, like I said, I've owned more owned more microphones and used more microphones than God. And uh, the only two choices are, this is perfectly good enough, is the Rode video mic. Here's the news, 160 bucks. But the next step up, really the only step up, is the ME64 module. Remember, this is the microphone module, the ME64. And this is the uh, K6 power module. Remember, you cannot use phantom power in your DSLR. It has to be powered on board because your DSLR is not going to provide phantom power through the XLR jack. That's why you need this module, the K6 module, which runs off of one AA battery. Boom, flip the switch here to turn it on. Plug it into your DSLR, automatic recognition. Extremely lightweight, and by God, the audio quality is just liquid fucking sex. It's just that good. There's nothing else to recommend. It, it begins and ends right here when it comes to DSLR use for a professional... Uh, uh, cardioid shotgun microphone, the ME64 module, although a bit longer, equally as good as the ME66 module, uses the exact same powering module. So that's the recommendation if you plan on doing movies with your DSLR. And the great thing about these are, if you've got a camera bag and kit, you're worried about, oh shit, you're going to pack around a bunch of heavy gear. These weigh nothing. They weigh nothing. I can't remember what the exact weight is, but it's nothing. It's literally nothing. Well, so that's the recommendation for a microphone. You heard it here first. You will not find a better, more intelligent, more broad spectrum examination of what's the best microphone for your DSLR for uh, shooting movies because you obviously cannot use the shitty onboard microphones on your camera. It's uh, decent enough to record something, but obviously it's shit audio and uh, you need to step your game up a little bit and get a nice professional microphone for your DSLR.